Hi, my name is Gisela Marti and I am the creative director for Tammy Taylor Nails. And today, I'm going to show you how to have fun by using colors and doing designs. Our guest artist, of course, is going to be the Gel Prisa. Gel Prisa is our newest line of three-in-one gel polish. It's a base coat, it's a color, and it's a top coat, all in one. So, let's get started. For this technique that we are going to be teaching today, which is the two-toned gel polish flowers, we're gonna be working with our gel prisa polishes, the Chantilly Lace, the Sand Castle, our Forget Me Not, our Juicy Peach. Of course, we're gonna include our gel paints white. To finish the designs, we're gonna be working with our Top Gel Plus, we will be using our Clinic to clean our polishes uh, once we finish the nail. We are going to include our dotting tool. We need our dab and dish, and of course, last but not least, our wipe it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make one of your best tools. And it would be with one of your old Tammy Taylor acrylic brushes. Okay, how many of you have had a brush that you have messed up and you have not been able to use anymore? It's lying right there in that drawer, I know. So get it out, because I'm gonna teach you that that brush can be a great tool. So when you take that brush, if you notice, over here and over here, there is a space in between. So what I did was, I went with my scissor inside and I cut a bunch of hair, leaving my brush this way. You can make three legs or you can make two. Well, I did exactly the same thing over here. The only difference is that I cut from the sides and from the center, leaving two legs on this brush. For those brushes that are so messed up and so messed up, what are you gonna do now? You're gonna cut and you're gonna make it a flat brush. So what I did was I took the excess of the hair from this side and from this side and I squared the brush with my scissor. And this is the brush that I'm going to be using for my two color gel flower technique. On this two tone flower with gel polish technique, the first thing that I'm going to be doing it is I'm gonna establish my background. And my background is gonna be half of the nail in sand color. And the other half of the nail, I'm gonna use the Chantel Lace. Because it's a color that is going to bring out the design. So there we go, half with the sand color. And the other half with the Chantilly Lace. This is a very extreme um, two colors because one is very light and the other one is very dark. So, but it looks amazing together. Once again, be sure that you cover totally the other side of the nail. Now, after I finish polishing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cure for two minutes. Okay, it's two minutes and I have my two colors cured totally over here. Now, I'm gonna do something that is going to be very, very different and I'm going to do a quick cure, which is two seconds, one, two, quick cure. I'm gonna do this fast, so pay attention because this is the most simple thing. So I'm gonna come with my first color, which is gonna be my Juicy Peach. And I'm gonna apply my Juicy Peach from one side to the other, from one side to the other. And I wanna be sure that it shows totally, totally, totally. Okay, there goes my Juicy Peach. Now, with my three-leg brush, I'm gonna come from one corner to the other and with 
the end of the brush. I clean and I'm going to do a quick cure. One, two, to stop it and come back. Here we go. We have our first color. Now I'm gonna go for my second color. And my second color is going to be pink. That forget-me-not color, which is great. So once again, come over here. And it doesn't matter how you put it because you are going to wipe 75% of the color with the three-leg brush that I show you how to create. Okay, there we go. Back again with my three-leg brush. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go all the way straight to the end and immediately a quick cure. One, two, here we are. So you have two strands, one in orange and one in pink with your three leg brush. So I'm happy with it and because I'm happy with it, now I'm going to cure for two minutes. Okay, two minutes. Here we are. How cool is this? This looks totally, totally awesome. Now, what we are going to do is the two tones flower. And remember the little brush, the square brush that we cut? That is exactly the one that we are going to be using for the flowers. My flowers are going to be done with black and white with my gel paints. So, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to dip one half and the other half I'm going to dip it in the other side. So I want the dark in the center so I have to put it exactly what I want the dark color. If I want the light color to be in the center then I just turn it and put it like that but I want my dark in the center. Once again Come over here and look, very simple. You just place it and then just, just as you do with a regular paint. That's one petal right there. Go back again and grab the color that you use the most and come back over here in the second petal right there. Going with my third one, and I'm gonna replenish my brush at all time. And I'm gonna come over here. And there we go with my third petal. My last one, I want to do it right in here. And there we go. We have, if you have to go back with any one of the petals, you can do it. Like for example, on this one, I can go back again over there and I just, just go back again. Same thing over here, because that gel is not gonna dry unless you put it on the lamp. And exactly the same thing. Okay, fix your petals. There we go. Now I want to do another petal right here. I just didn't even move the brush. That's exactly what it is. It's just a movement of sliding that brush you know, over here, another one. Now we're gonna do a cure of two minutes. So clean my nail with my clean it. And it is totally clean. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm gonna do all the details of the flower with my black striping paint. And I'm gonna come over here, and this is my petal right here. And I'm gonna come over here and just do the shape of that petal. Okay, same thing over here. The third one, the same thing. The fourth petal, the same thing. 
Now we're going for the two extra petals that we have on the bottom. Same thing, you come over here. And all what you're doing is just bringing the shape out. See, the great thing of designs is you don't have to be perfect. This is a very simple design. Anybody with or without knowledge of art can do this design. Simple. Now I'm gonna take my daughter, my dotting tool, and with the small size of my dotting tool, the smallest of all, I'm going to put my dots right in the center to make it my flower. Then I'm gonna come on the other side also and I'm gonna put some dots. And because dots look so elegant and so beautiful, I'm gonna put a series of dots right here as I am going. And it doesn't matter which way you're gonna do it, you just place it there just to create that effect of a lot of dots. See, you can do the same thing on the bottom. You can put some dots over here and make like a happy hour of dots right here. There we go. And we are done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till my dots are totally dry and then I'm gonna take my top gel plus and I'm going to protect all my design. Hmm. If I want to put a tiny bit of a shine somewhere, what I will do is I will put it right where the petals are. You can put a little line over there, a little line over here, another one over here. And these are just simply details just to bring out the color. And over here, exactly the same, the same thing. My dots are almost dry. So now I'm gonna take my Top Gel Plus and I'm going to protect my design. This design is so awesome that you're gonna be able to touch and feel the second layers of the pink and the orange line that you created with that special brush, with the three-legged brush. It's really awesome. And um, I am sure that all your clients are gonna love it. So, cure for two minutes. All what we have to do now, it is just clean it with our Clean It solution. And here it is, our finished design. Look. When you pass the finger, you're gonna feel the different levels of the gel polish, which is really, really nice. How fun was that? Anybody can do this technique. So now you know what to do with your old brushes, cut it, and let them work for you. If you created a design or have a special technique, an awesome technique using our Gel Prisa 3-in-1 gel polishes wanted to be featured in one of our future videos? Take a picture. Write step-by-step -step your procedure and send it to creativedirector at TammyTaylorNails.com. Again, creativedirector at TammyTaylorNails.com. If your picture or your design is chosen, you can be the next talk of the town.